Pedro, in the, you talk a lot about minerality. Yeah. The scientists say it doesn't really exist, you can't explain it. You can explain it. Let's talk to consumers about the importance of minerality, how they might be able to identify it, and why we talk so much about it. Um, I, I, that two, two different things for me. People talk about minerality because we accept and we recognize maybe that the top ones in the world are minerals. Yeah. Uh, Burgundy, Barolo, Chablis, wherever. So everybody wants to be like that. The, the, the difficult part is that... But like what? Have like a stony aftertaste? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you, a... you, you, need, you need to... For me, it's not in the flavors. Yeah. I mean, the flavors can be mineral. But for me, the, it's going to be evident to be mineral or mineral in the mouth. Yeah. It's a sensation. Yes. It's a reaction in your mouth, you know, in your tongue, in your mouth, that gets something that I, 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 I used to call electricity. Yep. It's something that is alive, vibrant, yeah. you know? And then, if you got that, uh, I will call it mineral. And then you have many different ways to be vibrant, you know? Yeah. So that, that's why every stone can provide a different kind of mineral. Yeah. It can be salty, it can be acidic, yeah. it can, it's just this big, fresh yeah. energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it's, you cannot be mineral only with tartaric acid, for example. No. Everybody's adding tartaric acid to be yeah. fresh, but it's fake, and you, you, you get that immediately. But you, the, the main problem is that you, it's difficult to explain, so you need to train yourself. Yeah. You need to taste and taste and train your palate. And you're making mineral wines in British Columbia. I am. I am very happy. Yeah. Many of the wines are mineral. The whites are great. Thank you.